Wow! A unicorn! I think it left something behind. Under the rainbow. It's a unicorn egg. And there's a tiny unicorn inside. It must be hungry. Feed it a candy rainbow. Once it's had its fill, it'll give you mini rainbows. And they taste pretty magical. Wow! Who knew being a unicorn was contagious? Cutting onions. Those TP earrings should come in handy. We've got a dinner guest. A crocodile chopper. Or should I say a crocodile chomper? And look, he dices the onions for you. But who says it stops at onions? It can help whip up a great ham salad. Just add mayo. Stir. And the best part, eat it. Of course, our tools can help with that too. Ooh, time for a little dessert already? Nah, these teeth are just getting started. It can help you make any food bite-sized. Besides, I think those teeth have chewed themselves out. Going to a movie? Ooh, now that's a dinner and a show. Well, here's something that could help. First, pour your drink into this cup. Add the lid and add snacks around the straw. Mm, good, but nothing beats cake. Except maybe the container it comes in. Just look at all the snacks it can hold. And there's even room for a straw. Ooh, looks like we're making dumplings. But I think you need a tender touch. Or, barring that, a handy dumpling maker. Well, always gotta crack some eggs. But now, let's try it with dough. Wow! Dumplings at the push of a button! But if you wanna make them all at once, what you need is an empty ice tray. Just push a little into each square. And we can add all sorts of fillings. Use a pizza cutter to make some ridges. Don't forget sauce and sprinkles. Popcorn sure goes fast. Seriously, we're still at the previews. Good thing we've got our very own popcorn maker. And things are already popping. There's enough for a double feature. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. On second thought, let's make more. But let's start straight from the source. Corn. First, it could use a quick dip. And dress it up with all sorts of sprinkles. Now place in the oven and toast it up. Wow, now that's dinner and a light show. Must have set it to extra rainbow. And look. You don't even need a bowl. Wow, more unicorn eggs. Just what we need to try out our new egg poacher. 
Bet it tastes like a day at the beach. But next up, let's try this ladle. And not just for a mirror check. Crack an egg inside and heat it up. Wow, it's even got that cute little ladle shape. Of course, the real test's in the taste. Oh, the butter's too hard to spread. Hope you like toast with your butter. Next time, try this nifty butter cutter. Just plop a stick of butter inside and squeeze butter squares right on top of your toast. Don't have one? Well, try using a strainer instead. Who says only cheese gets shredded? Now let's add it to our little mold. And soon, we've got unicorn-shaped butter. Though not for long, I guess. But either way, it tastes delicious. More popcorn? Huh, something seems off. That's because it's regular corn. On the cob, even. Just be careful. They tend to get stuck in your teeth. How about we try a corn shucker? Run it through, and we've got niblets. Um, would you like a fork? Or better yet, why not try a toothpick? All you need now is another corn on the cob. Ooh, rainbow corn! Just add a toothpick down the niblets. And you can pluck them right off. You can even pop them into popcorn. Mmm. You can really taste the rainbow. Ooh, berries! They're all so juicy! And they already come bite-sized. But you shouldn't eat the stems. So, let's use our handy stem remover. Just place it right in the middle. And take a little off the top. Now those berries are ready for eating. Thirsty? Grab a straw and hold on to it. If you run it through the berry's bottom, then the top will pop right off. Plus, you can stack them up, too. And who can say no to whipped cream? You know, it's a unicorn-eat-dog world. Which means our sausage sharpener should come in handy. Just twist it up, and it's like a hot dog tornado. Make a bunch, and we can make hot dog hair. Draw a ketchup face. And look, it's our old pal Ragatha. You earned a little soda break. Ooh, save the can. Just make a little cut on the bottom. And it can help slice your sausages too. Come on, everybody. Let's do the twist. You know, they do make grape presses nowadays. Well, at least this way we can say you put your foot in it. Now add gummy worms to the juice and stir until you can't stir no more. Look at that. 
The stick doubles as a lollipop stick. Take a bite. Time for a fun day down at the farm. Sort of. This little piggy can help us separate our eggs. And look adorable while doing it, too. How about we make a trade with our friendly neighborhood vampire? You know, garlic is really powerful stuff. It gives you the power to separate eggs right at your fingertips. Mmm, an apple. How about we give it a nice peel first? And we have the perfect machine to do just that. Just give it a twirl, and the skin's practically gone. Judging by all these apples, I guess it's kind of addicting. Still, we shouldn't let all these delicious peels go to waste. Hmm, now let's see, what can we do with these potatoes? But who needs a special machine when you've got power tools? Just stick the tater on the drill, keep the peeler close, and go. That was quick. Who wants french fries? You could eat your hot dog all at once, but where's the fun in that? This wiener dog will help you get bite-sized pieces. Puppy approved. Aww. Not that we needed a second opinion. Hey, what's wrong? Oh, it's stuck between your teeth? Some floss should fix that. Hmm. It's great at cutting up hot dogs, too. In every direction. Just use the unscented kind. Floss or string can make cooking them a little easier. Best of all, you can use it to make a necklace and always have snack close by. This miscellaneous tree sure is handy. Do you think it's got something to help us cut onions? Oh, look, it does. Seems simple enough. Put a chunk underneath and chop away. You can just pour it in your pan. But I guess we've got a lingering aroma. That's it. We'll cover your face with a pan lid. Just secure with your hood. And chop away. Careful with that knife. There's no such thing as too many potatoes. Think of all the chips. Add ketchup for flavor, a potato, and grind away. Do you think we can make corn into corn puffs? Careful now, vermicelli's a terrible thing to waste. Here's an idea, tie them up to fry them up. Don't forget to season for flavor. Oh, this is a crime against dumplings. Try this mold. Place the dough and filling on top and press down. Just plop into a pot of boiling water to cook. Now for the taste test. Got your sauce ready? Hmm, this glass could be useful in another way. Add little balls of meat to the dough and fold up. The glass will let you cut little circles out. And the only question left, should you boil or fry? Wow, these commercials are great! Uh, uh-oh, you ate all the popcorn. Well, we can fix that with this popcorn maker. Wow! Time to pour in some kernels and watch the show. We've got enough popcorn for a matinee. Always wanted a popcorn bucket that doubles as a bathtub. 
Oh, look. There's a prize inside. Skittles. Let's add to a skillet. Pour on some more kernels. With a little bit of oil, it's time to get ready for some rainbow popcorn. Let's scoop them up. What's this new device? A burger maker. Just spray the bottom and add the bun. Plus onions, cheese, the patty, and close up. Spray this part and we can crack an egg on top. Cover it up with a bun. Add just a little more spritz. Remove this disc and it all falls into place. Still, there's no harm using tongs. Who would have guessed that chicken and eggs go so well together? Ew. Did you know that cucumbers help with bloating? And a potassium-rich tomato will make a perfect substitute bun. We can even keep the onions and chicken patty. A handy-dandy toothpick will keep things in place. Personally, I'd flip it over and eat it like a candied apple. Okay, let's see what we got here. Milk, flour, eggs, sugar, and what's this? A pancake machine? <gasps> Just pour the ingredients. It even helps you measure. And it gives you a hand with blending everything together. Now for an easy release. These hotcakes sure look good. Stack them up. All we need now is the syrup. Uh-oh, we're out. The syrup seems so close, yet so far away. No, don't lick it. We've got a better idea. If we can't bring the syrup to the pancake, we'll bring the pancake to the syrup, so to speak. Mix in the bottle for chocolate pancakes. Of course, if you want to put chocolate syrup on chocolate pancakes, nobody's stopping you. Let me guess, they cooked them in the shell for flavor? Don't worry, this device will make peeling a day at the beach. But maybe this fork can do more than bringing food to your mouth. Just hook under the shell and peel away. Now you're ready for any seafood buffet. Mmm, buttered toast is so simple, yet so delicious. If only putting the butter on the toast wasn't so hard. Wow! Now it doesn't have to be. This device makes spreading butter as smooth as lipstick. You know, speaking of lipstick... Let's try the original! What? Just clean it out and use it to scoop up some butter. Add a cover for some safekeeping. Now you can always have butter on the go. It helps to bring your own toast, too. Buttered toast is just too good to only eat at home. Yeah, watermelon! Let's slice it up. Oh, and we have a device. Kinda thought she was gonna do the whole thing by hand. Oh, it's a skewer. Let's use a bunch to turn this melon into a hedgehog. Cut in between and you've got some slices on a stick. Kitchen-sational stuff! 
Catch you next time. All right, time to start the day with a nice shower. Well, it is pretty, but I'd get someone to look at that water. Though it kind of goes with her hair. <laughs> the perfect thing after a shower? A bath. Never can be too clean. Something tells me this cloud has a special surprise for us. Wow, it doesn't just fizz, it emits a rainbow, just like that. Talk about your double rainbow. Cool, look at all these colored pencils. Can you hold them all? You could just use one at a time, but where's the fun in that? Instead, we'll add it to the bottom of these flip-flops. Kind of like a mix between platform shoes and cleats. Now you can make art with a morning jog. If only you had more than two feet. <laughs> Look at all that white food. Even the chocolate's white. But there's a little color in the corner. Skittles. Guess she likes them extra crispy. Now it's time to make some popcorn. It's perfect for when you can't decide on salty or sweet. Hey, be careful with that skirt! Oh yeah, tablecloths are great for makeshift clothes. That and curtains, especially when it's made of tulle fabric. First, make a knot, and then make a few more. Now take your new tutu for a spin. Hair like this is a labor of love. Oh, wait a minute. Oh no. Quick, maybe we can call the salon. Or I guess you could just do that. Still, I wonder what we can do with these beads. Add a little bit of heat and melt them together. Before it dries, roll it up into your new ring. Don't forget, we have a lot of leftover beads. Remember, fashion is fleeting, but style is eternal. But pulling off white shoes might prove a challenge. Some shaving cream might help, but we still need some color. Now that's more like it. Taste the rainbow and smush everything together. She's so excited. She's going to put them on as is. Of course, a little water never hurt anybody. These shoes are a tie-dye masterpiece. She doesn't look too happy, does she? You probably could have just used the ones in the bag. Luckily, Ms. Rainbows here has a plan for them. Just melt them into different colors and pour them into a rainbow parfait. This should put a smile on her face. After all, she liked those gummies the first time. Hey, watch where you're going! Oh no! Her shoes! Luckily, this girl always has a colorful trick up her sleeve. Brick by brick, we now have a brand new pair of pumps. Hey, you sure you weren't reaching for the toilet paper? Huh? Good, and this will help against those cold bathroom floors. Plus, decorations. Mmm, ice cream. Hmm, 
kind of expected Rainbow Sherbert, and not Melted. I demand a refund, that's just false advertising. Anyway, we can still fix it up with different colored chocolate. Just give it a dip. And it comes with a little shield of sorts. Maybe she should start her own stamp. <laughs> Happy birthday! Mm. Oh, don't cry. Sketchbooks are fun. Mm. After all, the fun is adding your own special splash of color. And adding all these colors is just the start. When this paint dries, we can just scratch the colors back mm. to the surface. Something like this needs to be put on display. There's a time for work and a time for play. Huh? Ah, mm. This is boring. When's playtime huh? again? Of course, any time is a good time for inspiration. <laughs> this pom-pom border will make anything look cute and fuzzy. Nature gives us a variety of colors, and so does the Easter Bunny. What do you think's inside it anyway? Either it'll dissolve, or the fish will have something new to play with. Or maybe it's just enough to break it ourselves. What a cute toy. Let's give it a nice dip. <laughs> and our cute little sea pony ain't little no more. Hey, who doesn't love playing with sponges? Time for a fashion montage. It's nice and simple, but simple ain't style here. We just need to make some cuts. Add some beads to bring color to all this fringe. Probably should wash your hands. Huh, those nails need a little something special. If you have a bunch of different nail polish colors, why not put them all to use? Come on, what other nail file would she have? Rainbow amazing stuff. Catch you next time. Hey, careful, don't pick at it. Even if it is candy. Told you so. What a nightmare. You think too much candy's to blame? Yeah, me neither. <laughs> This cute unicorn holds all your candy secrets. Press the tail and see what happens. Mmm, bite-sized treats. Now let's add some melted chocolate inside. Uh-oh, I think that was too much. Litter box time. Oh well, chocolate is chocolate. Wow, that gummy bear's an Ursa major. Why don't we heat things up? Once it's melted, you can make bubbles that'll last forever. Well, they would if they weren't so delicious. Now let's try the direct approach. Oh, 
quick, catch it! Aww. There it is. Huh? Hmm. Something smells sweet? Wow, chocolate heels! And this shoe can hold a whole lot of whipped cream. Now this is a treat you can really put your foot in. Just be careful where you step. Happy birthday! Make a wish. The birthday girl gets the first slice. It melted! Melted! I guess it really is a cotton candy cake. The whole thing just melts away. Wait, there's something inside. Mmm, and it tastes like chocolate. Oh, jelly mermaid sashimi. Have a bite. Hmm. It's the catch of the day. These are good, but be careful. You don't want to eat too much. <laughs> Tired of the same old candy? Well, that looks interesting. An egg! Let's get cracking. Oh, I wanted a chocolate egg. Well, we can't live on candy alone. Let's put it in a mold and cook it up. Don't forget the sauce. And eat. Think there's more where that came from? Next up, we've got a squishy maker. Add a balloon and blow it up nice and big. Now add all your favorite candy inside. Any shape and size, as long as it fits. Now pour in some soda. <laughs> Seal it up nice and tight. And you've got yourself a squishy. Ooh. Wow, just look at all those colors. Still, we can't let good candy go to waste. Ah, nothing beats freshly squeezed. Mmm, <laughs> strawberries are nature's candy. But there's always room for improvement. Make a few cuts. And it's a rose in bloom. But now for a big caramel candy dip. <laughs> After all, why should apples have all the fun? A rose by any other name wouldn't taste as great. Now let's try some grapes. And bring the caramel to them. Add a stick inside, let it dry, and sink your teeth in. Mmm, fruit never looked so good. Someone could use a wet nap. Well, a dino grabber's great for a hands-off experience. It kind of reminds me of a claw game. Except you win every time. 
There's even a bonus prize in the back. Honestly, you get the best of both ends. Oh, look, he's got your nose. Oh, you've got a little something. We've got just the thing you need. A candy toothbrush. Add some paste. Now get brushing. Or just eat it. Really get those bristles in there. Hmm, I think you could use some more paste. Nothing says happiness on a silver platter like some jiggly jelly rabbits. Whoa, they're extra squishy. But they're not too squishy to sink your teeth into. Pretty soon, you'll have an Easter party right in your tummy. Hey, watch your step. Hmm, what's that smell? Quick, let's follow the scent. Bet something sweet's in that box. Plain donuts. Well, we can fix that. Mush them together into a giant donut. Lay it down for a whole lot of icing. Time for some toppings, like rainbow sprinkles. <laughs> now that's a donut. Have a bite. This might take a while. But it won't be here for long. Ooh, Ooh nice nails. Just the thing for our jelly candies. They really liven up your manicure. And they're great for a quick snack. You can eat them as is. But they're great for dipping, too. Why not try all three? And when you're done with one finger, remember, you've got nine more. Oh, a lollipop windmill. It's five flavors in one, while also being a windmill. Ah, now that's a cool breeze. But if you think that's good, wait until you taste it too. Aha! So that's where rainbow slime comes from. We know just where to put it. Press the tail and watch what happens. Unicorn candy! And there's plenty for all. This girl's all hooves. It's always nice to have a little friend on hand. Just be careful where you step. Then again, at least your hand's clean. Of course, if you don't own a unicorn, you can always make one. Draw it. And cut out four holes for legs. Now let's take her for a stroll. And strum a guitar while we're at it. 
Next up, a toilet? There's a surprise inside. It looks like we need to start drilling. Hey, there's a little unicorn inside. Now that's jaw-dropping. I didn't mean that literally. Poor lollipop. I know. Just grab a toy toilet. Maybe make it into a unicorn. And it can hold your lollipop for you. You keep plushies in the fridge? Well, that should keep it fresh. Ooh, we're gonna need to lance that. Hey, I think there's something inside. You keep your ponies in the strangest places. Well, the herd's all here. Ooh, Pinkie Pie. Here's an idea. Empty a jar. And fill it up with glitter and water. Mostly water. Now dunk that little pony in with the cork on top and give it a good shake. Remind me to get some unicorn diapers. Still, they're kind of cute. Give it a good squeeze. And it's another unicorn! And this one's got big, beautiful wings. Hey, don't get jealous. Get crafting. Just pour out some melted candy. Wrap it up in a strip of nanotape. Twist it up like strawberry soft serve. Add a face, wings, and a horn? Well, it's still a cutie. Hey, don't stick your gum there. Eh, it's your desk. But let's hope your squishy doesn't pick up any of your bad habits. While we're on the subject, got you gum? Even better, a balloon! Twist it up like a little pouch. Add a familiar face on top and blow a big bubble. Wow, those are some stretchy unicorns. In fact, you can stretch the whole rainbow. Just be careful when you fling them. Thanks, but we can make our own. Add lights inside a poppet tube. And two halves make a whole unicorn. Now it's time to do the twist. Money? Just the thing for our poppet purse. Plus a few of your favorite accessories. And the best part. You can pop it! Not to mention, it goes with everything. Of course, you can always use paper. Make some fans and bind them together. It could use a few equine touches. Now release the rainbow and enjoy your new wallet. Plus, all those fans come in handy on a hot day. Open your present. It's a unicorn. What else? This 
one might have wings, but this unicorn prefers to hoof it. Come on, little filly, strut your stuff. Guess she doesn't like to share. No matter, all we need is a TP roll. Just add some legs on the side. And soon, we've got a rocking horse. Ooh, make that a rocking unicorn. Come on, let the fun rock and roll. This unicorn's got a special power, bubble power. Come on, let's fill up the whole room. Just keep your bubbles to yourself. Oh no, you dropped your drink. At least we've got the straw. Cut it up into pieces. And lay them on some tape. Now roll them up together. And add another straw on back. You've got a unicorn bubble wand. She's got good coverage, but that phone could use a whole new look. This looks like a job for our handy unicorn mold. Pour in some hot glue. And it's your phone's new mascot. Better add jewels before it gets lonely. Ooh, let's see your phone. Hmm. It could use a whole new look, too. Almost good enough to eat. Still, it needs a unicorn. You might have noticed the theme. Ah, much better. Now tell all your friends. That or text. Wow, someone needs to go grocery shopping. Or at least order out. Maybe these crumbs will lead somewhere. Wow. Oh, yay, a hot dog. What in the world? This hot dog is a lie. It's slime, slime. Luckily, we've got some gadgets that'll make cooking a breeze. And let's just assume she brought food, like this corn, while we weren't looking. Now we've got niblets small enough for all your mouse friends. Oh, a skewer. They can make easy corn kebabs you just pull out. There's a special treat inside this bouquet. A dumpling maker. Wontons, here we come. Just add the sheet and the meat. Make a bunch and it's time to cook them up. But let's try another way with this gravy plate. Add some water around the rim. and keep pinching and folding until it's all closed up. Cut a little off the top and make a bunch. So, what shape do you like better? Next up is an egg opener. Time to crack some eggs. Just bang the top and your eggs open. Oh, and there's a prize inside. Of course, we can also crack an egg on a bowl, or maybe not. I mean, it's open, but it's also kind of a mess, inside and out. Wow, a nutcracker, just like in the ballet. Let's see if he lives up to his name and cracks those nuts. 
The shell was no match. Enjoy your treat. But will an egg tray prove just as successful? Maybe with this hammer. Yay! Either way, you get your nuts. Wow! A banana slicer. But don't let the name fool you. It can do so much more, like hot dogs and cucumbers. So if you ever wanted to stack all three, your wish is granted. Mm -hmm. A fork? Though it looks like this fork is getting a new look. Won't be as quick on long things, but works even better for small stuff. Wow, it's hot! Can our next tool be an air conditioner? Well, it's the next best thing, an ice cube maker. It's like a little well. Oh, be careful. Don't want to waste all of that delicious soda. Oh man, that's one quick freezer. No, wait, it's our next idea. This egg tray isn't just for cracking nuts after all. And it looks like we're having fun with these ice pops. Guess someone learned their lesson about wasting soda. Let's see how they turned out. Oh, you can just pop them out. Well, they'll certainly add some flavor. Real or fake, these things will make great party favors. Cool. This thing brings food right to you at the push of a button. Ooh, I wonder if it cleans pores too. But the real trick is that it helps you vacuum seal all kinds of food. Hmm, you think you can do the same thing with a straw? Let's hope you don't mind the smell or the taste. Is she okay? Well, one seems quicker. Something tells me this squirrel isn't into nuts. He's more into tea leaves. Just give his tail a nice soak, and he'll make you a cup of tea. But can an orange do a squirrel's job? We shall see. Scoop out the rind until it's empty. And then poke some holes in. Add your tea leaves and some hot water. Just watch it drip. I wonder if it has a fruity aftertaste. Wow, these molds can help you make rice balls in cool wow. shapes. Uh huh. Look at all the rice we have to choose from. Hope it's sticky. What cool shapes. Don't forget the fillings or toppings. Great idea! This will really bring out the teddy bear's face. These onigiri are really coming together. They're ready for their social media debut. Of course, there's more than one way to impress followers. Leave your face and arms and draw your dream outfit. Peanut butter can be the perfect medium. But toppings can really help make or break your look.
this isn't exactly a spoon you eat soup with. But it's great for making meatballs, hence the name. Cook them up, and they're great with pasta. What an interesting bib. Oh wait, that's no bib. It's a plastic bag. And it's giving her an idea. Squeeze and cut them out, and you've got even more meatballs. Kitchen amazing stuff. Catch you next time. I think you dropped something. Remind me not to use those straws. Attack of the giant squirrel! Wow. Looks like our little elf friend here is clearly up to something. Oh, all those poor gummy bears! And candies and sprinkles! Uh -huh. But they didn't melt in vain. Now we've got a giant gummy bear. Jeez, the perennial favorite of cartoon mice. Mm. And it's great in so many ways. Whole, grated, mm -hmm. and rainbow colored, apparently. Wow, they even remembered indigo. Now that's what I call fancy. This is gonna be one happy grilled cheese. Despite this, I still wow. think he's pretty happy. Mm -mm. <laughs> An apple. Oh, seems simple enough. Now that's more like it. Let's cut it up into cool shapes. Guess the first step to cutting them up is cutting them up. And it can even help you make quick kebabs. It's like a bouquet! Huh? And it looks like someone could use it. <gasps> Personally, I don't care what shape chocolate is, as long as it's chocolate. But still, let's watch. Who knew that chocolate came in so many colors? How cute! Yay! Perfect for Valentine's Day! Hmm. I think she likes it! Wow. Looks like it's time to boil some eggs! Mm -hmm. mm. Scratch that! Make that break some eggs! You know, I always felt that egg whites needed some color! All that work separating the eggs, and they're just back together again. <sighs> wow. It's the taste of egg with the fun of cookie dough. Eh, jokes aside, Yay. eggs are actually good for your eyes. Wow. <laughs> Guess we're having dinner and a show. Sure, you should leave that stick on. Yeah. Unless we're cooking balloons. I don't even know what to think. By the looks of it, I guess it was a water balloon. Now to dig into that shell. Mm, purple with a hint of stick. I told you we were getting dinner in a show. Huh, after all that eating, it's time for a snack. Ah yes, instant noodles. <laughs> hey, that's not our usual seasoning, or our usual noodles. 
I think I know this elf's favorite color. All seven of them. Wow. What? Literally taking food out of someone's mouth? Hey, that's just mean. <laughs> An iron? <laughs> Hope this means more grilled cheese. Wouldn't be too keen on unicorns after well, one okay. stole my ramen. <laughs> Guess this elf's a bigger person than me. It's almost too good to eat. Just kidding, I'll have the horn. Mr. Elf? I told Santa to offer a dental plan. Oh, so that's where the Easter Bunny gets his eggs. This sure is quicker than those vinegar dyes. You just knew this was coming. Wow! Oh! <gasps> Oops! Wow! A diamond! But still no <gasps> chocolate? Quick! Someone get this elf some jelly beans! <gasps> An emoji pancake pan! Seems pretty self explanatory. I'd be more surprised if these weren't different colors. Looks like they're done. Let's see some smiling faces. That purple one looks like he knows something. Now he's a crescent moon. Oh, oh no, oh. the bag! Hmm. How are we gonna get food now? Clearly I know little of elves and their banana summoning powers. Guess there's more than one way to skin a banana. There's gotta be an eating things with a face joke in here somewhere. With a fruit platter like this, who needs a zoo? Oh, Nutella. Great on toast, or just by itself. And the food lover's best friend, the spoon. Wait, don't eat the spoon! What are we gonna use to eat soup with? Oh, we're just making spoon-shaped uh -huh. baked goods. Well. I guess it's okay to eat. We can always make some more. Oh. Uh -huh. Wow! A spiral knife. Can't wait to see this in action. A cucumber. Always good to have some veggies with your gadgets. Yay! What? Graters, they're not just for cheese. It's a great thing we're not wasting the cucumber shell. Wow, it's a vegan sushi roll. Probably could have saved a few bucks using prop food. But that would kind of defeat showing off the gadgets, right? It's amazing stuff. Catch you next time.